I'm so happy to be back doing these videos. It's been a long time, about, I'd say two weeks, going on to three weeks, maybe, give or take. I'm not, I'm not really sure. If you didn't know, the last two weeks was spent doing all of the Infinite Warfare Easter eggs for me. It was a task. I have terrible luck with Easter eggs, but now we're back doing these videos. We're back to the normal schedules. And of course, if you don't know, this video is all about the fastest firing weapons in every COD Zombies game. Of course, we're, we're not doing Vanguard or MW3 Zombies because I don't, I don't care enough to do those now like usual there's no wonder weapons because i don't even believe they come close anyway so it really does not matter and when i get each weapon i will talk about its fire rate so it's rounds per minute that will also be without double tap and i'll give the one with double tap and i also don't know if pack a punch changes the fire rate of a weapon so this data isn't 100 correct but it's as close as i can get to it's kind of around the general area of how fast the weapons fire but if you're still gonna go in the comments and be specific about a weapon you can fuck right off. Now, in World at War, I will give you a wild guess as to what you think the fastest firing weapon is on this game. It's very obvious. I've covered it in a previous video on the best weapons video. And it's definitely a uh, fan favorite weapon. And if you haven't guessed already, it's the PPSH. Now, I have to get it out of the mystery box because that's pretty much what I always have to do on World at War. So this could take a while. I, I don't know yet. So let's hope it doesn't. One box it. One weapon. Let's do this. That is just not it, man. One more hit. We got this, please. I beg, the PPSH. I'm, I'll take that. I I got the Wonder Wolf back to back. I didn't show it the first time, but what is my luck right now? Why can't I have this luck when I want the weapon? What is going on, man? Was that it? Did we get it? Oh, no way. Okay, round 12, that is, that's solid. At least we didn't get on like round 20. Now, I think I'm going to pack a punch each weapon first in this video before talking about them. Just so they're at their best and can be shown at their best. All right, we can get this thing done. And of course, we got a dog round like we always do. Why does this always have to happen to me? Okay, so here we are with the PPSH. And without double tap, surprisingly, it's not the fastest firing weapon in the video. But with double tap, it blows everything out of the water. It is not even a competition. Now, without double tap, it has a rough estimate of an RPM of 1,380 that I got. With double tap, 1,835. Nearly 2,000 rounds per minute. And it's actually kind of absurd that this thing shoots that fucking fast. If you don't believe me, I mean, just look at this thing. That was 115 bullets to just eight through like no problem. And with that fast fire rate and its damage, it's one of the best weapons in the game. 815 bullets when upgraded is absurd. And now that I'm holding it, I want to mention something about the Black Ops 3 PPSH if any of you have, you know, used it before and thought about why is it so much more inferior compared to the one in World at War? For some odd reason, the one on BO3 actually has a much less fire rate. If you go in that game, I think the fire rate is like half of what it was in World at War. So I think that's why people think that the black ops 3 one is a lot worse because it is even with double tap 2.0 it just can't hold up to the normal pps sage which is a god tier weapon but that was well at war be a one is an interesting pick so let's move on to kino so similar to World at War, I want you to take a wild guess as to what the fastest firing weapon in this game is. Now I'll give you hints. It becomes full auto when upgraded and it's actually a burst unupgraded. So it's definitely an interesting pick. And if you've guessed it yet or still just have no clue, it is the G11. Yes, I know what you're thinking. How? Look, I, I don't know either, but when I tested it, it's fire rate was absurd when pack a punched i did not actually know that it shot as fast as it does and it might be kind of stupid to include that weapon because it only becomes full out when pack a punched but i i don't care i'm doing it who cares now is the box in a good spot that's the question it's it's not in there okay that's fine we still have a lot more other options to uh see where it could be not again dude it's not either one of these spots oh fuck Oh, it's here. I'm not going to hit it yet because I like getting jug first on this map. It's a dog ground. Oh, oh, we got one hit and no ammo. Please give me a weapon that's usable. Doesn't have to be the G11. Right, correct. What will the second hit be? Imagine it's ray gun. That'd actually be hilarious. Or that. Oh, there we go. And we have the points to pack a bunch of two. That's so convenient. And there is the G11. Now, I believe that the G11 is the prime example of fast fire rate does not equal good weapon. And here's the fire rate. 
It is pretty damn quick. Without double tap, it has 1,152 RPM. But with double tap, its RPM is 1,532. Obviously, it's the fastest in this game because that's the point of the video. But compared to the rest of the guns in this video that have access to double tap, it's one of the slower ones. And I think it just sucks overall. You never want to use this. And I mean, just this horde of zombies here in round 13. They're not going to die. Like, maybe a few of them, but, I mean, look at that. There's there's still a lot of them left. It is a very shitty weapon. The, I'm almost already out of ammo on it, by the way, as well. Didn't know if you could tell already, but it has two more clips and it's done. That sucks. That is terrible. Next up is BO2, which definitely has my favorite weapon in this entire video. And this weapon I'm talking about is the Scorpion Evo. If you have ever played BO2, you... I've probably heard or seen this weapon. It is crazy. It is one of the only weapons in this video that comes close to the PPSH. And I have to get it out of the box, which definitely sucks. It's a map exclusive to Origins, which also is another downside because there's so many doors to open. And I feel like getting the Scorpion is one of the rarest things out of the box you can get. So let's see if we could get it fairly early on. We got a couple of hits, but I think I'm going to hit it just one time because I need to keep all my points I can. That is not the worst thing ever. That's actually... Pretty damn good. All right, we've gotten set up. Now it's all about getting these box hits, as many as I possibly can. Oh, there it is. Let the box even moving. We already got it. That is perfect. All right, got to get this double tap reward. I got to get a little bit of points, and then we can pack a punch the scorpion. All right, we got the points. I also am going to pack a punch it more than once, because I want to try and get the fast mags on it. So this one is a red dot, and this one, oh, fast mags? Oh, there we go. And the scorpion has an extremely quick fire rate. Without double tap, it has 1,200 rounds per minute. And with double tap, it comes out to be 6 1,500 rounds per minute. Now, there is another weapon in this video that does share the exact same, but I believe that the reason why that is is because they don't have the same magazine size, so they kind of just come out to be the exact same. Now, showing the fire rate... It is very quick. And if you also realized how fast that reload was, I believe it does have the quickest reload animation in this game as well, which is crazy. A weapon with the fastest fire rate, the fastest reload, and has some crazy damage. It is one of the best weapons you can get. Now, the only thing that holds this thing back is it's only on Origins, and the ammo runs out very quick because of how fast it shoots. But if you ever get this thing out of the box, I mean, you may as well hold on to it for a good while, good chunk of the game, because it deletes the Panzers in no time at all and that was black ops 2 we have to uh, unfortunately move over to advanced warfare but every other game after this every weapon i'm covering is surprisingly on the wall so i will see you guys on advanced warfare so advanced warfare has the slowest firing weapon in this entire video it is the mp11 i have never used this weapon and i am so glad it's on the wall because if i had to use a 3d printer on this game i would go absolutely insane and i don't know where it is on the wall on this map i've never seen it so i'm gonna have to uh, probably run around the entire map before finding it and then likely die before getting it because this game is for some reason impossibly difficult oh i found it it was on the complete opposite side of the map that's great and it kind of sucks as far as i know but i'm gonna try and pack a punch it at least three times to get an attachment on it to see what kind of flare the weapon gets I'm gonna assume it's really stupid and doesn't matter, but we gotta give the weapon some sort of a chance. Oh, we got the points for three upgrades. That's one. Oh, I guess four. Uh, that's two. That's three. Oh, I guess that's sight. Cool. This weapon looks so stupid. It's so small. I don't know if it's an SMG. I would assume it's an SMG and not under the pistol category, but like every other weapon in this game, it's ass. Now there is no double tap in this game as well. So the fire rate won't actually be increased for any weapon. And so the RPM I got for this video was 960 for this weapon. And this is the fire rate. It might seem pretty slow, but we got to work with what we have. So this this is the fastest firing weapon. That's Advanced Warfare. Next up is BO3. And that's the game that has the same RPM as a Scorpion from BO2. So I will see you guys in Black Ops 3. So other than World at War, I think this game was the easiest no-brainer pick out of the rest of the video. And it's right there. The Vesper. If you've ever used it, you'd know that it is an absolute beast with the fire rate. Maybe not so much with the damage, but it is damn good. And I'm using Gobblegum because I can. It's going to be really easy to get it. I just have to see what my first Gobblegum is actually going to be. What is it going to be? Oh, extra credit. Perfect. And now we already have it. I have to work on getting the teleporters open so I can pack a punch the Vesper. Forgot I kind of have to do that. There's one. That's two. And that's three. And now we can pack a punch it with the use of Gobblegum, of course. And now we have the Infernus. Now the Vesper 
is an interesting case. I don't know if I already said this because my, my memory sucks, but it is a really fast firing weapon that I think shoots so fast that it makes it shitty. Yes, you can control the ammo with this thing, but the other issue is it doesn't have a lot of ammo to work with. And this is me emptying one magazine of the Vesper. It is pretty damn quick, and especially when you have fast mags on it, it just makes that little difference. Now, it is a strong weapon. Don't get me wrong. What I said before, as it just shoots so fast, it wastes ammo. If you're able to conserve your ammo well enough, it is a really good option, and it's on the wall. But I would never use this thing to, like, camp with or just tear through zombies. I would more use it as kind of that weapon you'd switch to with the ammo mods to kind of uh, take out a horde slowly. It's a good, like, third weapon to have in case you run out of ammo, just to kind of kill zombies that are in your way. But other than that it's just a fast firing weapon with pretty good damage and that's it that was the vesper it sucks i'm on two low of a round to really show off how good it can be but you got to take my word it is a very solid weapon if you can use it right but now we can move on to infinite warfare which has an extremely fast firing weapon oh and now one of my favorite games so far I've, I've really been enjoying infinite warfare and i have director's cut now if you guys don't know i no longer have to uh, go through the process of unlocking pack a punch and i'm actually playing a different map for once which is challenge shuffle this map is interesting and i already forgot to turn on the power that's that's great there's a power switch i uh, gonna go ahead and leave the spawn room and the weapon we're also getting is i think it's called the rpr evo i just call it the evo because i never really remembered like the first half of the name but it's actually just past this door it's not that weapon but it's a weapon upstairs and here it is it's a very nice weapon you could change the firing mode of it too so you can do the slower firing and then the uh fast firing it's pretty damn fast and i got i gotta unlock pack a punch which is not hard in this map but might take me a little bit of time I, oh and i already forgot to turn on the second power switch man i am getting way too ahead of myself right now there we go and we gotta turn on two more power switches that is three and that's the fourth one now we're looking for three different pieces uh to unlock pack a punch and i don't know what order i'm getting them in because i'm just kind of checking all of the different locations but i do know the first one i'm getting is a coin which is under tough duff right here there it is there we go oh here's the tapes to it i can grab it please there we go oh and here's the last one just a pink flyer poster now i have to enter this building and be warned it is a uh a club so don't worry about what you're seeing in here but now we have pack a bunch open and i quickly want to get fifteen thousand points so i can double pack my evo here all right there we go let's get in here and double pack a punch the evo and there we go this pack a bunch camo kind of sucks but i've already shown you the fire rate but once again i will empty another mag just to show you It's pretty quick, and without bang bangs in this game, which is just a different version of double tap, it has an RPM of 900, and I think with bang bangs, it might actually be um, faster than normal double tap, but I got it to be 1300, but I think it's closer to 1400 or 1500, because it just seems absurd how fast this thing shoots. And that was the EVO in Infinite Warfare. It's very, very good because of how fast it shoots. So now we're going to move on to World War II, and I'll see you guys on the final Reich. All right, so when it comes to World War II, I want you to keep this in mind. I had to look this up for the fastest firing weapon because I was not going to go through every single individual weapon to figure it out. And we got lucky that the weapon on the video that was the fastest firing, which I tested it and it is extremely fast. It is on the wall and it's the WAF 28. It's over in that area of the map, but we need to turn on the power first before doing any of that. So there is three different valves that we have to turn on. And the first one is right around this corner. And here it is. I just got to hold F on this until it's done. That is exciting gameplay if I've ever seen it. Now the second valve is just right across the area. And the third one is right here. All right, now that's done. Now we gotta hit this button and kill all these zombies. It is extremely loud. I apologize for that. And going down here, the power will be right around the corner. And there it is, but that's not the final power of the map because it's World War II we're talking about. That is one of the power switches out of two we need to get. And that's the second one. Now the full power is on in the map and I have to ride three different tubes now. And one of them is right here. And now we gotta hit this button. Oh, we got the red screen. Cool. Here's the second one. And button. I can now quickly grab the WAF 28 and we can ride the last tube. And there we go. Now I'm gonna quickly grab some perks before I uh, pack a punch this thing. All right, let's get this thing done. And now we got 
the flapjack. That's what it's called? All right, fair enough. Now, without double tap in this game, which I think is called a Google Blitz, uh, maybe, I don't know, who knows? It has an RPM of 1,000. I kind of rounded it just to make it clean and nice. And with Google Blitz, it's 1,440. And this is what it's like shooting it. It's pretty fast. Now, I don't really know if it's like a good weapon. I mean, it's one shotting around 11. So, I mean, that there's not much to really go off of there. It could be good. It could be bad. It's on the wall, has a lot of ammo, has fast fire rate. So, I guess it's okay. But me personally, I would not go out of the way to get this. But that was a WAF 28. Honestly, not a bad pick if you want to have a fast firing weapon in this game. But next is Black Ops 4. And that game was also a no brainer pick. And if you want to take a wild guess as to what the weapon is, if you played the game, if you haven't played the game, I, I can't help you there. You, would, you just wouldn't know the weapons. But the weapon that has the fastest fire on this game is the Spitfire. It's fast. When I say it's fast, there's not even double tap in this game or anything. And it is the fastest firing weapon without double tap in this entire video. Fast in the PPSH, fast in the Scorpion, fast in the Vesper, everything. It is crazy. I do have custom mutations on, so we're going to try and get it as soon as I can. It should be really easy. Oh, second hit. Perfect. That That's exactly what I wanted. Now I just got to get Pack Punch open by gathering four different uh, heads around the map. There's one, there's two, there's a third head, and there's the fourth head. We gotta place the heads right here. And now we're gonna pack a punch this five times. May as well, I got the points. We're here already. And there we go, fully pack a punch, which does not make any difference, but it's it's whatever. So I don't believe the Spitfire is actually a strong weapon by nature. I, I don't think it is. I think it's just kind of average. It might be good because of its fire rate, which is um 1,500 rounds per minute. Not even with double tap, just its base form, which is kind of uh nutty. That is the wrong term. It is kind of crazy. And this is me shooting it. I might not seem that crazy, but I think it's because the game audio kind of lags behind in this thing. And that that is nuts. That is very, very quick for a weapon. It might even shoot faster on pack a punch actually. I, I don't know, but that's a Spitfire. It's honestly, I, I think, a solid weapon as, as far as I know. But yeah, that was Black Ops 4. This video is going pretty damn quick, and I will see you guys on Cold War. All right, now onto the last game, and we have the goofiest looking weapon ever. It is the MAC-10. I don't really know why I have a red dot sight on it. I just do because I, I can. There's nothing else to it. That That's it. And it's kind of odd how this is the first game that has the MAC-10 in zombies. MAC-10 has kind of just been there in COD games sometimes. It hasn't really been many. I know it was in Black Ops 1. I honestly can't recall any other games having the MAC-10. But in this game, it's a definitely interesting case. It's just It was just kind of there. I don't think anyone really asked for it. It was the first uh, DLC SMG, I believe, to come out, which is also pretty interesting. And of course, there's no double tap in this game, so it's not like I can increase the fire rate. So I just have to get to the Pack-A-Punch, which is uh, really easy on this map, because all I have to do is just uh, grab a couple of parts, go through a teleporter, and that's all she wrote. All right, now we're coming up on the Abomination. He sp should spawn any second. There he is. Ring of Fire. Uh, is it going to take damage? There we go. Uh, 25 HP. Not so good, but he's dead. There it is. Piece of cake. Now we got the points of pack punch. Let's head in there. Got to press this button. I got to pack a punch it. Here we have the, what is it? Royal with lead. I don't understand the name. I don't think it has any correlation. I have no idea. But here's a MAC-10 with its uh, over 900 bullets for an SMG. And its RPM is 1,152. And I remember that a long time ago, ranking the colder weapons, I made a Google spreadsheet of all of the weapons, like with all their damage, their fire rate, everything you need to know about them. And technically speaking, this was not the weapon with the fastest fire on that list. It was actually the amps. Do wield though. And I think counting those as do wield is a little unfair because it's two weapons, not one. So I wanted to do a weapon that was only just, you know, one weapon and not do wield. And this is the MAC-10. That's what we have, the fastest firing weapon. That's not do wield, then this is it, emptying a magazine. Not the fastest thing ever, but it, it does the job. Quick fire rate, that's all you really need. It's pretty good damage uh, as far as I know. And that was all of the fastest firing weapons on every COD Zombies game. Now, if you want to see another video like this, it has a similar idea to going through every game, let me know. I'm kind of getting sick of these videos, so I, I might not do it. But yeah, that was that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, whatever time it is for you. And I hope you guys have an amazing year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I love every single one of you.